Good day everyone, it's your favorite pastry. And today I'm finally starting to play Lies of P. I know, it's been a few weeks hasn't it? Without further ado, let's begin. Use a star fragment at the cracks calling next to the boss area to summon a spectre. It will help you in the boss battle. Now I am going in mostly blind, though I have watched some of Blue Lizard Jell's playthrough. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. Collodi? Collodi. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. I wonder if that butterfly represents the soul of a person. Hey, it's Timothy Chalamet. I wonder if this door becomes open for later on. Random puppet parts. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot. And I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Oh, this must be bonus content from all the updates that I forgot to that I had. I feel like these are kind of spoilery. Really? Right off the start? Let's not use those for the time being. I got a defensive part. Workshop Union Basic Frame. Dances Puppet Frames. Absorbs Physical Damage. Basic Frame made by the Workshop Union. It is part that reinforces Puppet frames made with standard dimensions. Ooh, converter. Appendage parts that increase attribute resistance of puppets. Can enhance resistance can enhance resistance to attribute status ailments. Old generation appendage made by the workshop union. Its design is old, but is cheap and effective. So it's still but is still the main one in use. Cartridge. Parts that apply to public circulatory systems can enhance resistance to special status ailments. Nice. A prototype developed by the Workshop Union came into being after various efforts to improve puppet performance. Finally, a liner reduces physical damage. A liner made in the dimension approved by the Workshop Union. It can be made by anyone as long as it complies with certification standard. So who manufactured it cannot be determined. Oh, 
Monad's lamp. A small lamp with a cricket guide puppet inside. It illuminates the darkness with a faint light. Do not be afraid, even if you get lost in the fog. The cricket guide will be with you. I wonder if fog is going to be used important. Ah, yes, grinder. That's uh, a lot of blood. Get the most loyal servant, Puppet Show. The end line to all parts of the world. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. It's weird that they didn't find me. Whoever they are. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Three starting classes, Path of the Cricket, Path of the Bastard, and Path of the Sweeper. Cricket is balanced combat style. Bastard is quick and nimble. And Sweeper is heavy. I'm gonna go with balanced. The slowness is probably because my computer is Cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. Discharge. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will gradually re recharge. I like this mechanic. It encourages you to be somewhat aggressive. Crack Grand Expedition 18xx. That still goes way too fast. And it's the greatest show on earth. Experience the future of the world. Hmm. Hey. That's the old is that the old lady at the hotel? Ergo Fragment. I am very oily now. Go. 
guard. That would be to guard. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your car your character will take reduced damage, but it will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually increases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. And like blood bursting system. Perfect guard. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy in a staggerable status. Like Sekiro. Blood trail leading me to more death or treasure. Firebomb. It's Saber Blade. It's a fable art. Storm or Slash. Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times. Nice. And the handle is Conlandry. Increase attack temporarily. Interesting. Saber Blade made by refashioning Soldier Puppet's weapon. The slightly bent blade has remarkable stability. They say Bale puts do not shed tears because they do not have souls for vessels. If they had souls, they would have something to put tears and lies in. I wonder if that butterfly was a soul. A standard soul rattle made at the workshop. It has endured many battles, and the stains of blood and grease cannot be distinguished from one another. The red stain has faded to the point where the grease can't be distinguished from blood. Endless fighting is gone, leaving behind nothing but red upon the world. Catalyst. Table Catalyst. A catalyst made a catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly charges Fable. The catalyst made catalyst made pups more efficient by circulating ergo energy within the body. This groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist idea. I wonder who that alchemist is. Thermite bomb that can be thrown. It looks fire damage on at the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance. Oh, hello. Oh. I like that it took me out of the menu when I got hit. That was nice. Many thrown throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibit excellent result against their marching and there, but yeah, yeah. 1889—the dream of becoming a real girl. Harold Theater, Rosa Isabel Street. Interesting. Passengers know. Uh, uh, oh, there it is. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least I should stop people from randomly, from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive, anyone.
Questionable backstab. Hello. Yeah. It's coming back to me. I played the demo way back when. So I'm fairly familiar with the combat system. Lock device. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that have that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors to go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Nice. Oh yeah, shortcut unlock. I think he sees me. attack. Nice. Yeah, first try. Another sock to feel. Nice. Uh, wait, nope. Oh, there it is. Workshop Union Lightweight Frame. Weighs more. Yeah, yeah, up by 1.8. Yeah. Better defensive. This item was made in the Puppet Workshop for the purposes of improving strength while limiting the weight increase as much as possible. However, its weight is significantly greater than the standard version. I can still fast roll. Fast roll. Fast roll. Gotta love a good fast roll. Central Station Main Entrance Key. A key once held by a Krat Central Station puppet. It opens the front entrance of the station. The station puppet filled, fulfilled the duty imprinted on it. The la its last duty ended with bloody violence. Yeah, leave this station. Uh, it's good to be back. I like that the soul counter, aerial counter, changes color when you have enough to level up. It's a nice quality of life feature. Down my bonfire. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina, as well as charging your pulse cells. You'll be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Warning. Puppet threshold exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are. We are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. So be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat.
always a good idea at the start of the game to level the core attributes. Welcome to the city of Krat. In honor of Valentinus, who erected the cornerstone of Origin. Ooh, I was raging, dude. Yeah, cornerstone of Origin. Fable arts. Why for you? Why for blade fable arts? Why while guarding to use handle fable arts? Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts use fable slots, and different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. I have a little, a little symbol that I can, of where I can back that up. I should try a fable art. That explodes the entire area. Oh, hello. This game seems to be really rewarding aggression. Ooh, rock times issue 183. Hopefully I'm safe. One day I'll figure out the menu. The crop ground exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabella Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. Something you don't want to read. Hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis cra dragged on, the workshop in Minini Company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced they would, that they would offer emergency supplies to sit in and do everything they could to alleviate the solution. Alleviate the situation. I need to learn how to. The task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. I wonder if that's a thing, or if it's like uh, Azimuth's laws. However, there is no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for resurgences of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many city citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station. And it's fine, the general chaos. There was a petrification disease before, and it's coming back again. I wonder if that's important for the story. It's important for the story. Well, looks like the puppets got a hold of the people trying to escape. Such is life in a souls like game. Is this still my shortcut? Yep, this is still my shortcut.
the heavy attacks start to come into each other. I see if we get a lot of paper catalysts. Homo Machina. Best butlers and maids at your service. Ooh, Bandit Urgle Fragment. Remember folks, do not. Can I interact with you? No. Sad. That's a big guy. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fear attack. You can't dodge or guard fear attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Really? Oh, oops. Hey, chop. Ow. Ow. Rude. Ow. Rude. It was very rude. Have a monorail. I wonder if I get to use that monorail. I hope I get to use that monorail. Almost got me. Another firebomb. There's that item. Uh, urgent repair tool. Like repair powder from Dark Souls 2 and onwards. Was it in Dark Souls 1? I feel like it was in Dark Souls 1. I just never used it because you didn't really need to. Very generous with that backstab. Thank you. One thing I'm noticing is that the controls in this game are very responsive. It does exactly what I tell it to do exactly when I press the button. This stargazer wasn't here in the demo. Hello there. This merchant Welcome was. Welcome to Karat, visitor. 
I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Kind of nice that he can buy the starting weapons right here. Let me go ahead and do that. I wonder why it's limited to only three. Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Hello there, I am the parade master. I like singing and marching with the people. Introducing Parade Master, a Merkle Parade Pope model from the workshop to celebrate the Grand Expedition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. Parade Master has the following functions 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade praises. Parade dances to light children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. This parade. This parade master was made big in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out his charm, charms on the eve of the upcoming expedition. Exhibition. Not expedition. what the first boss is going to be. This guy gave me real trouble on my first playthrough in the demo. I just love that sound, that roaring of gears. Finally, a guest is here. Ow. Ow. I did less time than my
Ow. Ow, oh, something or other. I'm gonna have to look at that in post. On dying in the boss area. If you die in the boss battle, Death Urgle is created at the entrance to the boss area. Oh, nice. And it tells me how much I'm missing. 181. And it also recovers my fable. I Come on in. We have been waiting. have given the king uh, something festival. I think that was easier than it was in the demo. Or I just got good. One of the two. Rest in peace, little buddy. Hotel Crot, the greatest luxury you'll ever experience. I am not that fast of a reader game. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Sounds fancy. Another fable catalyst. Nice. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. It tells you when you picked up what item you picked up last. Nice. Ergo obtained from the Parade Master. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. Although the entire audience disappeared in a pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as it was king, the show must go on. I wonder who that king is. Quartz. P Organ Ability Activation Part. A colorful tiny Ergo Fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the P Organ. There's a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets different abilities. More damn ergo fragments. Gotta explore everywhere.
discard of puppet parts. Dead and Moonstone. Moonstone was not from this world. However, it is the most optimal enhancement something something something. Uh, there, there it is. Rare enhancement material that can be tamed in different parts of Krat. It can upgrade blades of common weapons. Moonstone was not part of, was not from this world. However, it was the most optimal enhancement material. In the urgency, technicians pushed forward with using the Moonstone for an upgrade without time to review it any further. Interesting. I wonder if the petrification disease came about from a crash meteorite or something. And the moonstone is a fragment of the meteorite. I'm going to try telling the truth. Also, what? Did they seriously animate or model a wet t shirt? They told the animated model of a wet t shirt. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Puppets are a constant source of trouble. The hotel forbids all outside puppets. Please leave the premises. Ooh. Forbids all outside puppets, but not all puppets. Interesting. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? You may. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Ooh. Red particle effects. Something's happening. That shirt dried incredibly quickly. Cutscene. Ooh, mysterious war. Is that your bottle? Bottle. Really? Must be Italian. Looks like they almost discovered me. Now lying. Instead of now loading. How cute.
gone after the rain. Geppetto will have answers, but we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croc is dangerous for humans, and that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Level up. You can level up through Sophie, using the Ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon face pocket watch. Well, that does it for this episode of Pastry Plays Lies of B. Thank you for joining me as I begin this adventure through Krat. As always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.